Hey guys, I'm Mechan King, and welcome to 60 Seconds. It is a apocalypse survival simulator. <laughs> uh, we're gonna. I just played the tutorial. Oh, wrong button. I just played the tutorial and know how to do stuff now. So let's see if we can survive the apocalypse. I was I was never really good at the Fallout games, so uh, you know doesn't bode well for me. Alright, so the important things here are everything, actually. So we want to make sure we get enough stuff to help us survive the apocalypse. Grab our kid, grab that, grab the survival book. I've only got like another 20 seconds to grab everything I need. Let's go ahead and grab some ammo. Soup. Radio. Get out of the way! Ah, I better stay here. I've only got so long. So I didn't grab few of the things I needed to grab, I think. I got the radio, I got some food and water, I got my family. Uh, I've got ammo, but I don't have a gun. Uh, well. I got a gas mask, that, that's a plus. I got five bottles of water and three cans of soup. Yeah, it doesn't really bode well. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup, to s canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing the supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Another bottle of water. Well, looky here. One of us must have hid this inside the suitcase a while ago. It was so lucky we took that suitcase. We got the padlock. Our shelves are full of cans, we'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Alright, so we got plenty of water. What we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again, we can't say that there's a lot of light underground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here. Alright, so there were a few more things I could have grabbed. I would have liked to grab the gun. Uh, the map would have been nice. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Nothing new to report on to me. Everybody's fine. We don't need to eat yet. Let's go. Let's start an expedition. Let's not start an expedition. Oh wait, no, I've got the gas mask, it's fine. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are we are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't have bomb they don't bomb warm places. We can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that it's the best way to get to Europe. Uh, can we spare some water? Everybody's complaining that they want stuff, but I'm not giving them stuff. Ooh, maybe I should give them stuff. I planned that expedition, didn't I? Yes, I did. I should not have planned that expedition yet. Alright, we'll go ahead and give everybody stuff. Uh... What all do I want to give her? Actually, we'll just give her the gas mask. Alright, everybody got food and water, so they'll be fine. I heard that the Boy Scout handbook up here uh, lets people survive a little longer without food and water. 
Everybody's good. Nobody needs that yet. Just when I send the freaking gas mask out, too. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Mary Jane, blah blah blah. Family's doing alright. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They, uh, they're in our suit. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back, and they're bigger every time we see them. Hit them with a book. I'm going to lose the book, aren't I? Oh, no, the book's still over there. Maybe I did it. We always knew books were precious. They are the perfect weapon for waging total war on insectoids of any kind. Fear will keep the local spiders in line. Fear of this scout handbook. While chasing them around the shelter, we found a misplaced water bottle. That was a good hunt. Alright. So I fed them on the third. So I shouldn't need to feed and water them again until the eighth. She's back. She's got a lot of water. Let's see what she found. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were. And there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away. Or save us from radiation sickness. We're glad to hear Dolores came back safely. We went on a trip to a more specific place place this time, a local museum on tranquility lane. Several rooms and a corridor wall decorated with some charred paintings that had survived the, the blast. The whole place doesn't even look that bad. It's almost like a modern art exhibit. In front of the museum canteen, we found a box with some water bottles in it. It was probably left there for some delivery company. That delivery company was probably out of business at our guess is it was blown out of the market. So we got two bottles of water. We we were hoping for some sweets or snacks, but all the museum canteen had to offer was tomato soup. Those poor, poor tourists. Shoot, cans of soup? That'll keep us going for a while. Mary Jane keeps faint. Okay, it's on to the family stuff now. So they should be good for one more day. Should be. Nah, we'll skip the expedition for now. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Walk on the surface like we used to, smell the fumes and pollution, and that's the scent of freedom we miss. Dehydrated, tired, dehydrated, tired, dehydrated, tired, hungry, tired. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Mary Jane keeps fainting, we really need to open family stuff. They all want stuff. That is why they all get stuff. Okay, I just fed them, so an expedition tomorrow. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning the radio station and learning tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Yep, let's listen to the radio. Water over here on the ground, and there's a broken one over there. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It would be much safer to travel on the surface now. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Okay, so family stuff. Ted is not complaining. Alright, so they're fine. They just got stuff yesterday. Oh, they're all tired feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person to go outside. Yeah, everybody's tired. So, nobody's allowed to go outside. Well, that was a wasted opportunity. Tired, 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 tired and hungry. Now, ring, ring, 
There we were, thinking that we would never hear telephone signals again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, but everyone's tired and won't. Well, darn it. Thirsty, tired, thirsty, crazy, tired, thirst, thirsty, and she's crazy tired. Okay, they're all still tired. It's way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for all of us. Everyone has to drink some time. Okay, so the last time they had food and water was the 8th. So, the 13th, I think? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and give them stuff now. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as the old man named Jim who used to run the streets of town before. I the wasteland, and it looks like he followed us home. Now he's banging on our door asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? Yes, we don't have any weapons, so a rock would be nice. Maybe we can smack a bullet hard enough to shoot the bullet. So how'd that go? Old Man Jim is always lovely and friendly to everyone, so of course we opened the door and filled his request. He winked at us and told us the first rock is for free, which we were happy to hear. A nice rock is a good thing to have, but we don't think we will be able to trade any of our supplies for it, even if it brings luck like he claimed. Alright. Go ahead and start an expedition. It's so easy to escalate silly arguments in close quarters, doesn't It's so easy to escalate silly arguments in close quarters doesn't help. We were chatting and then suddenly we were fighting and fighting. Let's hope we'll get over this soon. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than the quiet after the storm, or was it the other way around? Time to ration supplies. They just had supplies, so they'll be fine. Okay, I want to take him. And there's honestly nothing I have that's useful, so... We'll just take the gas mask again, just in case. Everyone has to drink sometimes. Okay, family stuff. Ted left for the surface with the gas mask. Nope, you guys get no supplies. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Or wait for them to make contact with us. So, as soon as Ted gets back, we'll get everyone food and water again. We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in the radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting too long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait, await further instruction, uh, blah, instructions. Wow, I can't talk. Okay, everybody gets to eat and drink. We were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first it sounded like angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. Well, since I don't have anything I need, I'll use the padlock, which I only have because I've luckily found it in the suitcase. We didn't think that small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. 
Too bad the padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Just wait for... Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but he now... But now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet of two water bottles. Shall we play? I don't have cards, so no. Well, I should have fed them, I guess. I, I was hoping he'd be back the next day. He wasn't back for another, what, four days? If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided that happened. Dolores died of dehydration, lack of water, drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set for the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. For all our daily bread and butter needs. Well, he found four cans of soup, so that's good. The only problem is now he's insane. Most food on the shelves was outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed on the floor. Guess what? Soup cans don't expire until 2015. Good for us. That was last year. <laughs> We found a shelf with a big sign that read, Everything for 99 cents, the only thing left were bottles of water. Huh, expensive. So he got a lot of supplies. It's just, I should have fed everyone. Long before that. Uh, phone's ringing. Too bad, dude's insane. I'm probably tired. Uh, he's hungry, crazy, tired, and fatigued. It's been a while. I guess, I guess he can have... Yeah, Ted's crazy, so... Can't send him out into the wasteland. Well, this went south really quick. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. Now we can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Since it's only him, I can actually probably feed him every day. He's in no condition to go outside. <clears throat> Surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be, or else we might face dangers we never dreamt of. I mean, your entire family's dead, but yeah, it'll it'll be fine. It it'll be fine. Just, just don't don't worry, pretty little face about it. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. You're still hungry. The raider camp on our street has been extremely maddening lately. Well, I don't have any weapons, so we're going to have to deal with it. I'm starting to draw on the walls. I don't think this little drawing was over here on the left. Somebody should really sort those bandits out. Give them, uh, them a run for their money. We're 100% behind that idea. We're also 100% not going outside and risking our lives. Surely somebody else can take care of the raiders, right? There's nothing going on with Ted today. Nothing new, anyway. So... Let's just go ahead and keep feeding him. So he's still crazy, so we can't send him out. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to do a specific location in the area and leave a sign that somebody is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is they provided us with geographical coordinates, but we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook. <laughs> gobbledygook. That's a fun word to say. He's crazy, tired, and fatigued. So, yeah, we're going to be here for a while. 
we were sure we could find the location without a map, we were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. I'm gonna skip a day on food. You could have sworn a huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier, and there goes another one. Oh, damn it. We're getting flooded. Let's grab some of our supplies before they start floating. Save the radio. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it had done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days. And what's that smell? Seems he's busy fighting his inner demons most of the time. Yeah, he's going crazy. I don't expect us to survive this. There's a man on our doorstep, and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. He assures us he will not get sick and asks us for our help. We can provide him with a group. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I have to choose one. I'm not allowed to... If we could provide him a group with some supplies... I can't see what I have more of. I have more water. Ah, let's give him food. Thirsty, crazy, tired, fatigued. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going away anytime soon. Whether it was pity or just fear of bandits, we're not sure, but in the end, we agreed to his terms. We will be calmer knowing that someone else is looking out for us, especially someone with so many arms. I should have given him a bottle of water. I don't have any weapons, so yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with it. I lost a can of soup, I think. Yeah, that beast of a rodent won, it won and stole our food. Can can or no can, at least we have each other, right? We're just worried it'll come back to finish what it started. There's an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the wastes, and right now she's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she's lost her mind, but are you gonna... What are you gonna do with that spider, lady? Put it on a leash? She promises that if we help her, she will return the favor another day. I mean, I can't use the ammo, so go ahead. We agreed, mostly because we're kind of curious what she's planning to do with that spider once she catches it. She doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. Uh, dude's just freaking crazy. It's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon, or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. That's not something we are looking forward to. We won't end up dead in a ditch, we'll end up dead in our bunker. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might not ever get used to it. We hope help comes soon. Comes soon. Ted, stop being so crazy. Quality content right here. It's just way too dangerous to put to randomly run out to a ringing phone. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just starve him to death. What in the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They are driving us crazy. Is something crawling in the air vents? Relax. Take a, take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before they start tearing them down. Maybe try something relaxing for a bit. I can play checkers by myself. I mean, I don't have all the pieces and. I'm by myself, but yeah, having some fun made us forget about, what was it again? Ted has always had a heart of gold, that's when we're in shock to find him feeding our supplies to some disgusting fat cockroach. I mean, I am 
crazy, and I'm down here unsupervised, so... I'm down to my last can of soup, but Ted's too insane to go out and find more. I, I mean, look at the look, look at his face. He's crazy, tired, and fatigued all the time. Ted's fine. He, he's fine. We decided against going out for an inception inspection of the tank. We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking at the door. Who could it be? Who could it be? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? Yeah. It'll provide some kind of entertainment, I think. A group of travelers wearing, wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Huh. So I've got plenty of water now. Today the music from the radio stopped abruptly and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation. But it turns out there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. This exact location was given on the geographic coordinates. We need a map. I don't have a map. I'm not getting rescued. Ted's gonna die down here. <laughs> we were sure we could find the location. We were wrong. supplies. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there was any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness. Blah, blah, blah. Something's coming to get me. We felt it was too risky to face whatever horror awaited in the shadows. We did what any sane person would do. We shut the door. The creature was gone the next morning. Ted's mental health worries you. His mental health worries, worries all of himself. What we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. I'm sure this can't be that entertaining to watch. He's crazy and fatigued. Now he's... He's even crazier than he was. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Prepare for an expedition. Nobody can go, but for an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a loud lot of noise since dawn, and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor, and coincidentally... Coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. Going under a tight dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. We're giving us the creeps, even up here. I'm almost out of soup. Oh, hey, I can send... Head up there. May as well take the gas mask. Well, Ted, it's been nice knowing you. The end. Before we could cross our lawn, someone started yelling the most obnoxious things, and a gang of spear-wielding, foul-mouthed individuals launched themselves at us. The only option we had was to run, and we did. We held out for 42 days. Shelter got raided. The end. Well, we just discovered Mech and King will not survive the apocalypse. Nuclear apocalypse, that's what I wanted to say. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, 
Maybe we'll do better next time. I'm Mechan King, and I hope you have a good day.